We were really pleased with our start to the season. I thought we, you know, got off to a really good start. We had the uh, opener at home, which was exciting for us, and to head out to Washington and play uh, good, tough, hard-nosed football against a top 10 team in the country at the time. And, you know, go down to Sam Houston, get a big win. The Sam Houston win and the Montana win really stick out to me. Is Montana was a big one for me because that was kind of like my rival since I've been here. We hadn't got a victory over those guys in my five-year tenure here. I mean, to bring a whooping out like that was pretty cool. You know, as you look back, the last few weeks were a bit disappointing. You know, put ourselves in position to be a playoff team and just didn't finish the resume to get in. Overall, it was a successful season, I feel like, as a team. I mean, of course, we wanted to go to the playoffs and we uh, lost a couple of key games and stuff, but I feel like this season we really got to know each other as a team. You get really close to a lot of the guys you've been here with for four or five years, so, I mean, just going and playing with them again for the last time, it means a lot, and that, that's how it's going to stick out for me. We definitely have championship players in this program, and. Uh, you know, they got to buy into that and uh, take this program to the next level. We know where we want to go with this program, so it, it takes some mental toughness. As a coach, it's going to take mental toughness for our returning players, you know, but we've got to really have a good winter at strength and conditioning and keep improving our current guys and add to that roster through recruiting. It's a lot of young guys and we have a lot of depth now and I just, the future, you know, the sky's the limit for the, the football, UND football team next year, and um, I'm just super excited to see where they go. You see guys like Gary Mogg, you see freshmen like Noah Larson step up to the plate and just accomplish so much. And um, those guys have grown so much, and those guys are going to mature into some key players on the field. It's going to be really cool to see in the future, and I can't wait to come back as an alumni and experience it all. I don't think it's really hit me yet. That, uh, that it's over and uh, that I experienced my last practice on Memorial Stadium, my last game in the Lair Center. My class I came in and kind of you know, started from the bottom with this program. When they were recruited, we weren't selling anything but a vision. And we kind of you know, brought it to a new, new level, you know, looking at my sophomore year, winning a Big Sky Championship, going to the postseason, and kind of, you know, kind of starting to trend and you know, kind of creating a buzz from, for the University of North Dakota that you know, we can do this and we can you know, win championships and we can play in the postseason. I think they really set a standard for the rest of our guys in the program that, hey, here's how you got to do it if you want to improve and keep moving this program forward. So as a group, very proud of them. Some of the guys played a lot. Some had lesser roles and some guys hardly played at all. But as a group, very proud of that senior class. Just four years have just flew by so fast. And, uh, that's one thing I would preach to the young guys is just cherish every moment. You always have some older guys come in like it's going to go by quick, take advantage of it. And you honestly never understand until you've kind of, you've done your full time. It's crazy when you come in as a freshman and uh, everyone older just seems so much older than you, the seniors when you come in and then you end up being a senior and it feels like it was just yesterday that you were a freshman. They always joke I came in here extra tan, super skinny, still skinny, but just a, a little long-haired Floridian kid who didn't know what cold was yet. And it seems like just yesterday that was that was me and McVeigh dorm. The last four years it just went by extremely fast. And, but definitely, you know, the most memorable years in my life though, for sure. Even though we're gonna miss them around here and we'll always miss them, there's a real excitement to young guys looking to their future and starting to go on with their life. Things that really stand out to me at UND is just the unending support I got from everybody in Grand Forks, not only as a player, but as a student athlete too. You know, you meet a lot of fans, a lot of supporters and people like that throughout the community and you see how much the program means to them. It's just crazy to think how much support we have and all of that and being able to play for those people is what means the most. I just want to you know, thank the coaching staff for, you know, believing in me and trusting me and you know, it's been been a great four years and I could talk talk about this place for hours. I've enjoyed every moment of it and the fact that UND has been the group that's taken me in and allowed me to have a career here, put me on the field and give me an education, I mean I wouldn't take it back for a second. UND has made me into you know, a better student, you know, a better football player, just overall just a better person. I've definitely seen myself grow over the past four years and I can definitely say you know the person that I came in, the person who I am now, leaving with, you know, is, is a different Brady, and I'm, uh, you know, 
students. I think my mom would be extremely proud of the man I am today, and that's you know big thanks to this university. I've learned so many things. I've met so many different people and um, experienced so much. It's kind of hard to put into words how, how much this place has helped me out as a player and as a student and as a, and a young man. There's a lot to remember about Grand Forks and I'm gonna remember it all till, till I die.